today we're looking at this simple patch. So I've used the new Vivo XR wear noise bundle number one to create two synth voices and an electronic kick drum. Everything is driven by this one clock generator, which drives the dual noise sequencer to generate two trigger sequences, which in turn trigger two dual noise shifter, which uh, yeah, basically they hold volt information, which is then passed on to dual noise quantizer to generate notes and pitches from this volt information. Noise quantizers feed the pitch inputs of two seat oscillators. We have this one here, which is our baseline. And we have this one here, which provides a funny jumpy melody. And we have our electronic kick here. that gives some rhythmic backbone to the to the patch. Okay. So first thing first, the special thing about this patch in my opinion is that I'm face modulating the melody oscillator with the baseline oscillator. And since both oscillators are fed by different pitch signals, they will have different harmonic relationships. So the phase modulation is sometimes uh, harmonic and sometimes less harmonic, creating more complex and, and less complex or more noisy and, and more tonal tones, depending on what notes are being fed into each oscillator. And to spice things up even further, I added another seat oscillator, which is at a very, very low frequency, turning it into a low frequency oscillator that is um, modulating the level of the baseline oscillator that is fed into the melody oscillator. It's PM input. So when you can, as you can see, when I turn up, things get pretty noisy and then pretty crazy. And uh, it's some, it, it even feels like it's drifting out of tune here and there. That's because these pitches are not synchronized, so I chose the, the scales or the notes that are allowed for, for each scale in a way that there is overlap, like literally this one note to this G, but there is also melodic tension, like from the C in the bass line to the D in the melody, or the, the F in the melody to the G in the bass line. So there's these very and it's not too small of a step because it's a whole tone, not a semitone, but it creates tension. Now let's dial that back a little. It just helps to, to keep the melody interesting. Talking about the melody, the melody is, is generated with the lower part of the, the dual noise architecture. And as you can see, the, the trigger sequencer is being modulated as well. So, we actually only have eight steps from the trigger sequencer that drive 12 steps from the dual noise shifter going into three notes. So there's not a lot of, of melodic content that we can get from there. And this is done on purpose because I want uh, a slightly repetitive melody not to, to have everything all around the place and stuff. So just something that, that keeps repeating but is still interesting. And to add some interest, I'm modulating the density. So what density on the dual noise sequencer does, if I increase it, I get more steps. And if I decrease it, I get less steps. And by modulating it, I'm taking away steps from the current seat and adding steps from the current seat doing this with an LFO. It's the same LFO that modulates the, the level of bass modulation. It's turned down a little. And 
and it's even uh, CV'd by the vaults of the uh, upper sequence. Yeah, there's, there's actually a lot going on, I just realized. But never mind, we can ignore this for now. So it's just the... Elephant adding steps and taking away steps from the melody. The more you add, the, the more complex the melody gets, of course, and then the more interesting it is over the long run. But bear in mind that if you add too much randomness, the melody will just sound random. Okay. What else is there to discover? That's basically the patch. It's quite a simple patch, to be honest. But it provides a nice melodic background. Play with different seeds. fun with this patch, with this patch idea, and see you around.